t-shirt. I have to revise the design a little bit. I guess there are worse things to be known for. I'm sure that's not the best thing, but I don't think it's the worst. Well, alrighty. It looks like it is 7.15, so let's get started with our 2020 Panini Immaculate Baseball Random Player One Box Break Number One. Just like with all of our random player breaks, we'll list everybody in random.org and the order of which they purchase their spots. We'll randomize that list five times and then match that up against an alphabetical player list from the product. Good luck, everybody. Once. Twice. Three times. Four. And lucky number five. And we've got home team six in the top spot. And B. Dawkins fan in the bottom spot. All righty. So I know there's a few folks in this break, I think, that are breaking with us for the first time. So if you happen to be watching with us on the live stream and you have any questions please put those in the chat and i'll answer them as soon as possible so what i'm doing right now is i'm going to cut and paste this list over to the right and then i'm going to sort by everyone's ebay ids and then we're going to scroll down our list so everybody can see who they have in the break player wise before we actually open our box I like Alan and Ginter too, Brian. I don't break it, but I will open a pack. I'll probably order myself a blaster too. I did in this past week just because I'd ordered so much other stuff to break. And I thought, well, I'll wait a week or two. It'll probably drop again. But I'll probably get a blaster or two and break them for myself. Or I'll just send packs out to everybody like I usually do. I always say that. I always say, hey, I'm going to buy myself a box or two of this. And I will. And unless it's racing, like if it's baseball or football, I end up sending the packs out to you all. Just because I figure you all would rather, I'd rather you all have them and open them. So I end up opening a bunch of racing, which is great because I like racing. That's why I buy it. I like Ginter. I don't like, I have no desire to break it though. That's not a break you'll see me do. I kind of like to pick my spots. And it's not that I don't like it. It's just, I don't like the ambiguity of all the non-baseball cards in the product. And I, I never have really been able to find a really equitable way of breaking that out to be able to do a random player break. Plus I hate handling all those mini cards. It just, it messes with me and I don't like I don't like handling them. I mean, it's a nice product. Don't get me wrong. I just, you know, from my standpoint, it's a nice product that I enjoy, but I don't look at it as a, as a breaking product. There's some certain things I like that I just won't break. And then there's things that I hate that I'll never break. But I like that one. I just, I don't like handling the minis. I find that off-putting. As strange as that sounds. But that's the truth. That's just why I don't do it. I'm not a fan of the mini card. I am, but I'm not. I like the value prop, and I think that it adds something interesting to products. Like, I love it in Goodwin Champions. And I really want to do Goodwin Champions this year because I, I haven't I've you know I've never I don't think I've ever broken that but I would really like to but again it's hard to find an equitable way with all of the non-athlete cards and all the random stuff which again I'm not saying that being a hater on all that material I love it I think it's great and that's what gives that product its its vibe and its flavor 
but it's just hard when you're trying to do it in a random player format or even random team. How do you do random team with that? So I'll, I think this year I will probably do a break with that, but I'm going to do like random pack because it's a 20 pack box and I'm just going to do it pack by pack and, and, and kind of do it in that format. So if somebody wants a pack or two, then they can buy a couple spots and get a couple packs and they'll get whatever's in those packs. Just a little preview of things to come in case you were wondering. Man, this is a long list. But not as long as Tops Chrome Sapphire. Thank goodness. All righty, finally, now that we have been through our list, let's open our box and see what we get. Good luck, everybody. First card is Michael Brantley. Tough to pick up there with that red foil. Jersey card, serial numbered 19 of 49. Whoa. Next up, we have something really awesome. One of one, Willie McCovey. Four-color jersey patch. How about that? How about that? Is it game worn? about that little four color Willie McCovey patch not too shabby right there pretty darn nice and then our next card is a Aaron Savali dual jersey autograph
yes, that is a fantastic card. Hope y'all are enjoying yourself, doing all right this evening. And then our next card, wow, not too shabby here. Dylan, Dylan Carlson, patch autograph, serial numbered four of five. Very nice hit for the Dylan Carlson spot. Certainly some nice stuff in this box thus far. And our next card is a Adrian Morjohn dual patch autograph. Serial numbered 13 of 25. And then our last card in the box is a Sheldon Noyce, or Noose dual patch autograph. And that's an on-card autograph, by the way. So remember, five of 25. Nice little patches there. All right, well, that is all of our cards in that box. So let's go back through our list and see who got which cards. So our first one, I guess it would help if I put the list on the screen. There we go. So our first one is Sheldon Noyce, or Noose, dual patch autograph, serial numbered to 25. And that goes to Jarbray5782. Congratulations on that. And then next is our Adrian Morjohn dual patch autograph. Serial number to 25. Hey, and that goes to Keith. How about that? Congrats on that, Keith. Awesome. And then next is our Aaron Savali. Dual jersey autograph, serial numbered to 49. And that goes to Master Rude. Congrats on that. And then next is our Michael Brantley jersey card, serial number to 49. And that goes to Gukin 154. Congrats on that. And then next is our Dylan Carlson three color patch autograph, serial number four of five. And that goes to Strong M93. Congratulations on that. And then last but certainly not least, our Willie McCovey Legends. Four color jersey patch, one of one. And that goes to Ruffian Pup. Congratulations on that. Great card. Take another look at that McCovey. That is nuts. Very nice. And then the Dylan Carlson. Nice little jersey patch there. Well, alrighty. That concludes our 2020 Panini Immaculate Baseball Random Player One Box Break Number One. Thanks to everybody that bought spots in the break. As always, we appreciate you all supporting our breaks the way you do. 
Thanks to everybody that joined us in the live stream for the break this evening. And we'll be back in about 10 minutes with our 2021 Tops 3D Baseball Random Team 2-Pack Break number one. Thanks again, everybody. Thank you, Keith. It was great seeing you. Enjoy the rest of your evening.